I'm Professor David Mosey. I'm Director of the Centre of Construction Law at King's College London. Prior to that, I was Head of Projects and Construction at Trowers and Hamlin Solicitors. And over the last few years, I've been Lead Project Mentor for the Government's Trial Projects of Two Stage Open Book. I've been involved in Two Stage Open Book projects for the last 15 years. I was author of the PPC 2000 form of contract, which has been adopted on a whole range of two-stage open book projects and indeed is one of the options available to Southern Construction Framework clients. But more recently, I've been trialling two-stage open book with the government to demonstrate how this can save money, how it can offer improved value uh, through new forms of engagement, not only with the client and main contractor, but also with the tier two and tier three subcontractors and suppliers. The benefits of two-stage open book are now demonstrated. We can have significant cost savings or indeed cost control in a rising market, but also a whole range of improved value. If you engage with the main contractor and the subcontractors early, you open the door to their contributions to design, to risk management and to programming. But also you get a set of common data, common cost data, common qualitative data, that helps everybody to understand the project position, uh, picture, if you like, and to manage change and to manage risk. Two-stage open book offers a public body an EU compliant way of engaging early with the main contractor and with subcontractors and suppliers so as to build up a common basis for information, so as to create an integrated team and so as to enable new contributions from supply chain members to efficient costing and to improved value in relation to almost any aspect of the project. The Southern Construction Framework is very interesting because it's built on a lot of experience of the regional frameworks, including, for example, IEASY, who implemented one of the trial projects for the government through the Property Services Cluster, but they've now adopted the official guidance that King's College and Cabinet Office published explaining the outputs from the trial projects and offering clients and their teams uh, evidence of cause and effect so that they can go through a systematic two-stage open book process. Now that guidance, this guidance, is embedded in the uh, briefing documents available to all of the Southern Construction Framework clients. So they've taken their own experience, They've taken their trial project experience and then they've adopted the recommendations that have come out of the whole trial project programme. Public bodies uh, gain a great deal from early contractor involvement. They gain insights into what the Tier 1 and Tier 2 and Tier 3 supply chain members have to offer. They have a way of building up a reliable set of information during a planning stage of the project because they're conditionally appointing their contractor while there's still thinking time, while they can work together before authorising the full project to commence on site. What that means is that they can work together to manage change, to manage risk, to ensure that the maximum opportunities are there for uh, small and medium-sized enterprises, for enhanced employment and skills, for sustainability through um, reduced waste and reduced emissions and also for possible extended warranties where the supply chain get to influence the design solutions in a way that they're able to stand behind. I think it is important for any procurement model to have some element of competition if it's going to succeed and it's going to be sustainable. What is equally important is that the parties are competing on the right basis. So there are some elements of a project that can be competed at many competition before the balance of the information is built up using the preferred contractor under the two-stage open book process. Two-stage open book has now been proven as a mainstream procurement option. It offers not only the transparency and the basis for team integration that you need for effective collaborative working, but it also fits very, very well with building information modelling. Now when we look to the future of design and BIM, we see the need for joint programming, for mapping out all parties' contributions, 
and for getting the best out of not only the design consultants and the client's own briefing process, but also the added value from contractors and subcontractors. So the future, to my mind, is that Two Stage Open Book will offer a very robust, very attractive, very successful procurement option, enhanced further by the IT solutions available through BIM. Southern Construction Framework has established a very sound basis for delivering value for money for its clients because it's using experienced personnel, it's using a demonstrably sound procurement method through two-stage open book, and it's working with its contractors and its subcontractors to see where the value lies, how it can best be delivered, and how benefits can be obtained not only for the client but also for the supply chain out of those systems. <music>